before Newport Academy, my perception was that my life was going uh, awesomely. In actual reality, it was a mess. My life was all over the place. Um, I was using to live, and at the end of the day, I was using to die. I lived a really promiscuous life. It was really dangerous. I'm really lucky to be alive now. I had become completely miserable with the life that I was living, and I kind of ruined all relationships with my family and cut all ties with my mom, and I was using my dad and his alcoholism to uh, basically get whatever I wanted. And at that time, it was drugs and alcohol, and it just kind of spiraled out of control. I was in and out of motels and trailer parks and just not hanging out with the right people. My life a year and a half ago consisted of using every day, um, drinking every day, degrading myself in many ways that, that people shouldn't do to themselves. I was seeing a drug and alcohol counselor um, once a week. He was telling me about it. It was starting to sound very appealing because I was at a very low point in my life. When I came to Newport Academy, I was completely scared. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. At first, I really rebelled against my parents. I blamed them for leaving me here. Um, you know, I blamed them for everything that happened to me. I was terrified when I entered the doors of Newport Academy. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know who was going to be there. I didn't know if I was actually going to get help or if it wasn't going to work. I really wasn't in a place where I felt like I was going to change. I was stubborn and I didn't believe it was even possible for a person like me to live a better life. I changed at Newport Academy incredibly. I learned who I was as a person. I would say my best changes at Newport Academy were building back that relationship with not only my family but with myself. My relationship with my family became a lot closer. We now talk every day rarely ever fight. The relationship that I have with my family now is so different um, that sometimes I feel like I got a new family. <laughs> but really what happened is that I got a new life. We're a family now. We're a unit. We know each other. We love each other. And um, we have, we each separately, me and my sister have a relationship. Me and my mom have a relationship. Me and my dad have a relationship. And um, together, you know, we, we create this beautiful family that works together and that knows each other and we love each other. And, that's such a gift of sobriety and of Newport Academy. The staff at Newport Academy are awesome people. They're people that I can still go to now. They're people that help me find who I am and they help me find sobriety. So I owe a lot to the staff at Newport Academy, I really do. Counselors and uh, care coordinators that were also in the program in recovery, I like looked up to them and I know that they went through the same kind of things I did and it made it a whole lot easier. At any other treatment center I wouldn't have been able to work one-on-one -on -one with my counselors and the intimate relationships that I had with them taught me that even if I didn't love myself at the time they could love me and teach me how to love myself which was really important for me. They showed me that you know you could live a sober life and you could still be happy and that's what I always wanted I just wanted to be that happy kid. From my personal experience I was using drugs like meth heroin prescription pills and uh, I never thought I'd get out of it to be quite honest and uh, this place changed my life for sure. My life today is I think I'm stuck on a pink cloud to be honest and a lot of people tell me in sobriety it should not be a pink cloud you're supposed to have a roller coaster. Honestly my life today is absolutely incredible. Um, I have amazing friends that are always there for me. Um, if I'm going through a hard time I can pick up the phone and someone will always answer. My life today, it's cliche, but it's beyond my wildest dreams. Today, my life is beyond my wildest dreams. I had no idea I could live a life like this. Um, I imagined being sober would be boring and uneventful, but I have some of the funnest times I've ever had in my entire life. Today, I attend NYU in New York. Um, I have a 3.5 GPA. I have a full-time job. Today my life is what most people would consider a life, which previously wasn't true. For any teens considering Newport Academy, um, all the advice I'd have to give is don't be offset by um, the word rehab. Um, it's one of the kindest 
environments you could have. You have people looking after you and um, it's one of the best changes you can make in your life. It's an amazing place. Um, the people there are so kind and loving and make you feel comfortable right as you enter the door. And it's like a family here. It's not just a rehab. They pick out their staff very carefully, making sure that they you know, they really care for the kids. And when I first stepped in, it's like these these care counselors, these CCs, and these staff members, they they would love me immediately. Even though I, I, I wanted no part with them, they would love me immediately. Today, I've been sober just over three years. My sobriety date is June 24, 2010, and I have two years of sobriety. I've been sober for two and a half years. I've been sober 18 months. I've been sober about eight and a half months now. I've been sober about 14 months now. Newport Academy showed me that my life was mendable, that I was mendable, and that um, there was hope for me. Newport Academy definitely saved my life.